The only way for us to live as a minister It must be done through Jesus Christ However, we must take care of the sheep But those sheep are not ours But they are the sheep of Jesus Christ 목회를 하지만 성공의 길을 걷지 못하는 분들이 있는데 There are many people who walk into the path of ministry but they're unable to be successful. 이 양을 치기 때문에 but they are only taking care of their own sheep. 자기 교회 their own church. 자기 성도 their own members. 그건 성경적인 이야기가 아니에요. That is not biblical. 우리가 성공한 목회의 길을 배우려면 In order for us to be able to learn about successful ministry 제일 먼저 예수 그리스도를 통과해야 The very first thing is that we must enter in through Jesus Christ 
Then Peter turning about to the disciples and Jesus loved following, and which also leaned on his breast and supper and said, Lord, which is that he betrayed thee? Peter, seeing him, said to you, Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus said to him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then when this saying brought among the brethren that the disciples should not, not die, yet Jesus said not unto him, that he shall not die, but if I will, then he tarry till I come, what is that to be? And we read to the words of verse 23. During the time that Jesus was on this earth, he had twelve disciples. Among them, he established one disciple called Peter. And he established him to be the apostle to the Jews. But even to them, he had spoken to three times. So he had spoken unto them by saying, Feed my land. Feed my sheep and feed my sheep. What kind of person was Peter? And so in Luke chapter 5, he met with Jesus. One day he was out on the Sea of Galilee catching fish. He was somebody who was making a living off of catching fish. He was planning all night to try to catch fish. Normally, because out in the Sea of Galilee, he was making a living off of catching fish. More than anyone he knew well about how to catch fish. I was somebody who grew up near by the sea. The place where I used to live was an island. Every time I read these stories about Peter, I was well able to understand how he was able to catch fish. The fishermen, in order for them to go to prepare for the next day, after catching the fish, they will come to shore and they will wash their nets. And for a few long experiences, the fishermen, they know well about what kind of fish dwell in what parts of the sea. When Jesus came to the Sea of Galilee, what was Peter doing at the time? He was washing his neck. After catching fish and returning to shore, he was organizing his net so that he could prepare himself to catch the next day. Even though he called all night to try to catch fish the other night, But Peter was not able to catch a single fish. And as I read through the Bible, I wondered, is this possible? What happened to all the fish that went to the Sea of Galilee? For some reason that day, he was not able to catch a single fish. And he was preparing his own head to prepare for the next day. Jesus then spoke to him. 
He says, cast your net out into the deep. And he says, go and touch the fish. We will briefly listen to the words of Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. We'll read verse 4. In verse 3, And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he was thrust out a little into the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drop. We'll read through verse 5. And Simon answering said to him, Master, we have told all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Peter met with Jesus. He tried to troll all night to try to catch fish, but he was not able to. So he was washing his net at the time. So at the time, Jesus came to the Sea of Galilee and he met with Peter. And he tells him to cast your net out of the sea before it drops. Because he toiled all night to try to catch fish. He was going to go and rest for the night and then he has to carry himself back out the next day to catch more fish. But Jesus tells us men to go out of the deep and cast out your net. I was like, would you be willing to do that? Last night I was not able to catch any fish. I couldn't catch a single one. And he tells Jesus, Jesus, I, w- I had stayed up all night. I was not able to catch even a single fish. So you are telling me to go out again to catch more fish? I don't think I can do that. He can say that at any time. Why? Because he had no rest the night before. In order for him to go and catch out, catch the fish the next day, he needs to rest. He can say that at any time. Even though I was not able to catch a single fish, last night. But he says, For I will cast on my net for a drop, trusting at thy word. That was Jesus for the very first time. He heard words which did not fit his thoughts. However, it was so that he would be able to throw away his own thoughts and then he cast it down his neck. Something amazing happened. He was able to catch so much fish that it almost tore, or it almost ripped apart his neck. What did Peter say at the time? He knelt down, and before Jesus, this is what he said. Lord, depart from me, for I am a sinner. Did he commit adultery? Did he commit murder? Did he steal? No. Why was it that he said, Lord, depart from me, for I am a sinner? Most people think that it is a sin for them whenever they have gone against any morals or, or any right conduct. However, the true sin is when you've forsaken the Word. When Adam and Eve 
shall descend. They forsook the word of God. And they became enslaved to Satan. Why does Peter say, Depart from me, for I am a sinner? Because at the time when Jesus says, Cast on your net for a drop, he was well experienced having touched many fish in the Sea of Galilee. He went to every single spot all around the sea, catching fish wherever he could find. There was no other day like this. There was no day where he could not catch a single fish. However, that night he could not catch a single fish. He tried to organize himself and then try to go back. But he tells them to go and cast on your net again. And then he says to go and catch more fish. Why does Peter say that I'm a sinner? Because his thoughts and the word of Jesus were not right. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, I tried to catch fish all night. But there was no fish. Oh, I cannot catch any fish today. At any time, those kinds of hearts would arise from within him. But he folded away his thoughts, and then he cast it on his neck for a drop. Oh, I tried catching fish all night long. But there are no fish here in the sea. When he put on his own thoughts and was able to cast on the net, trusting the word of Jesus, and truly he was able to catch so many fish that night. And you're like, I was wrong. My thoughts were wrong. His words were right. And there he was able to realize that he was a sinner. I was wrong. My experiences were wrong. Whatever I knew was wrong. That's when Jesus said, it says to follow me. The people who are able to follow in the steps of Jesus Christ. It says that whosoever does not walk through the gate of the sheepfold is not a shepherd. Finally, Peter was able to enter inside of Jesus Christ through him. He realized that he was wrong. He realized his own sin, and he was able to turn around. And from that point on, he followed on with Jesus and lived with him for three years. During the time in which he followed Jesus, one day Jesus asked Peter, Matthew chapter 16, as Peter asked Jesus, Jesus has asked Peter by saying, What do the people call me? At times, people call you the John the Baptist. There are also those who call unto you as Elijah. Also, those who call upon you as Jeremiah. There are also those who say that he must be one of the prophets. Then Jesus asked Peter, What do you call me? He says, Thou art Christ, and you are the Son of the living God. Jesus, he was so pleased. He says, Thou art blessed. It is God who has allowed you to know this. And then he then spoke about how Jesus would be crucified upon the cross. 
He says, for I will be crucified upon the cross. And I will be buried, and then in three days I will resurrect. And once I resurrect, I will be in Galilee before you. What did Peter say at the time? Oh, Lord, be not so. That doesn't make any sense. And when Peter just heard the word of Jesus, but he was not able to accept the word of Jesus. Surely he knew that he was the Son of God. That's something which God had taught him. I have given unto you the keys to heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bounded on whatsoever you bound on heaven will be bounded on earth. And whatsoever you release in earth will also be released in heaven. And he was not able to understand all the words of God, Jesus. As Jesus says that he will die and be resurrected, he says that such things should not take place. This should not take place. However, Jesus looks at Peter who says such things and he says, Satan, you are those who bring me down. And even though Peter, he walked with Jesus, he was not able to understand all the words of Jesus Christ. And then at the end, he finally had his final last supper with the disciples. As he gathered with the disciples and had the final supper, It says, those who put in the same hand into this bowl of bread will sell me. And that's when Jesus Iscariot put his hand into that bowl which Jesus put in. But Jesus Iscariot was not able to recognize. And Jesus spoke to him. That all shall be me. But what did Peter say? Because, yeah, will all others betray you, but not I? He said, no, you will deny me three times, and then you will not recognize me. Eventually, Judas Iscariot had sold Jesus, and the high priest, they took Jesus away. And Peter, as he followed along with Jesus, eventually denied Jesus three times. And Jesus was later on crucified upon the cross and he died. What did Peter do at the time? At the time of when Jesus was being taken away, and after denying Jesus three times, saying that he did not know him. He then finally was reminded of the word. Even though he followed Jesus on, even though he received the guidance of Jesus, but it's not that he listened to the word of Jesus, but he lived following his own heart. If you're looking for the words of John chapter 21, which we read today, chapter 21, verse 18. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou wast young, thou girdest thyself, and walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch for thy hands, and another shall gird thee and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. Heaven, there was a time in which Peter, he was old, and also he was young. 
when he was young, he traveled and whenever went to wherever he wanted. But when he became old, it was not to himself, but whoever other person had guided and led him to. When Peter, who walked the path of a shepherd, was not when he was young. It was at the time in which he lived according to his own desires of what he wanted. But it was a time in which he was being led according to how others wanted to lead him. Even though he was called to be an apostle, but he did not walk into the path of being a shepherd. There was an exact point at which he moved into becoming a true shepherd. And that is the very word of John chapter 21. After Jesus had denied, yes, Peter denied Jesus, Jesus was crucified upon a cross, and then he was laid on buried into the burial. If you look at chapter 21, verse 3, Jesus, he was crucified upon a cross, and he was buried. And then verse 3, Peter says, Simon Peter says that some I go a fishing, and they said to me also go with thee. They went forth and entered into the ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. Peter, as he lived at his fish, he received the calling of Jesus. However, after Jesus, Jesus was crucified upon the cross, and then he denied and he had cursed Jesus. And then after Jesus was buried upon the tomb, everything came to an end for him. His promise fell apart. And also his stern determination came down. Jesus, he says that all will forsake me. Yeah, well, all others forsake you, but not I. That's the Peter that he was. And such a Peter, not only did he deny Jesus, saying that he did not know him, but then after that Jesus was crucified upon the cross, he says, now I go fishing. He's saying that I'm going to return to the old. Not only did he say that he was not going to deny Jesus, he was somebody that wanted to receive the guidance of Jesus to the end. But now he wanted to return to his old ways. And he eventually went to the Sea of Galilee to try to catch fish. I am not a shepherd. I am not a disciple. I had sold Jesus. How can somebody like me become a shepherd? That's nonsense. I am just a fisher who's going to catch fish. And Peter, he was greatly bound to himself. He was somebody who was following Jesus in the forefront. All others may forsake him, but not me. That's the kind of Peter that he was. However, that Peter eventually cursed Jesus and he denied him. Where shall I go and say that I'm a disciple of Jesus? Because he is in himself to not be an apostle. 
That's why he came to the Sea of Galilee to try to get the fish. And he was catching fish at the time. Verse 4, chapter 21, verse 4. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus then said to them, Children, have you any meat? They answered him, No. And he said to them, Cast the note on the right side of the ship, and they shall find. So he passed their four, and now, where they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Jesus had changed the sea. He says, Have you any meat? No. Cast the net into the right side of the ship. They had caught so much fish that they could not bring up the net. Right then, Peter was completely shocked. Oh, he is Jesus. So Jesus just said that I will go to Galilee before you. That Jesus came for Peter. So now, when he came into the sea, what had happened? Verse 9. As soon as when they were come to the land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish lay there on and bread. Verse 16. So when they had dined, Jesus said unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And he said to him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said to him, Be my lamb. And so now, Peter, he came into the sword to the land. There was a fire of coal. The fire of coal was not simply made. And so, the coal, how are they made? You take wood and you have to first burn them, and then you are able to make fire coal. That means that Jesus is not there just making the fire on the spot. Before the disciples came into the, sea, into the shore, Jesus had already prepared the fire. He also brought fish there, and there was also bread. And then they are prepared to dine. During the time when the disciples were toiling all night to try to catch fish, and even that night they were not able to catch any fish. He just passed their net out onto the right side of the ship. And they were able to catch many fish. And at the time when the disciples came to the shore, Jesus had already prepared all these things before that. And Peter, he thought to himself, I am not a disciple. I have betrayed Jesus. I have denied Jesus. How can I say that I'm a disciple? I'm just a fisherman. This was the heart of Peter. But for that Peter, Jesus came. Is there anyone who had denied you by any chance? Is there anybody who had cursed you and departed from you? Have you ever looked for them? Have you ever prepared bread for them? Have you ever prepared to dine with them? Peter had found something he'd never imagined. He denied Jesus, but Jesus came looking for somebody like him and then asked. 
Simon and son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? What does Peter say? He did not respond. He says, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. How will Peter be able to say, Yes, that is true? Because what kind of person was he? He's somebody who denied Jesus. And he says unto him, Yes, Lord. And let's look here carefully. He says, Simon, son of Jonas, love is not me more than these. He says unto him, Yea, Lord. What does Peter say? Yes, I love you, Lord. How could he say such a thing? He denied Jesus three times. He denied him as he cursed him. He's somebody who forsook the word and ran away to the sea. Is that what it means to love Jesus? Everyone, as they read through the Bible, this truth was so amazing. No matter how much I see it, it seems as though that Peter denied Jesus. He cursed him. But how dare he say such a thing like this? Jesus says to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, love it on me more than these. Peter said, He said, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Everyone, he did not have a heart to love Jesus. He had thought that he was not a disciple. That's why he came back to the sea to try to catch fish. But for somebody like him, he prepared the bread, prepared the fish, prepared the fire of coals, and prepared to dine with him. And so he met with that Jesus. I did not Jesus. I forsook Jesus. And I cursed Jesus. And Jesus came for somebody like him. Love somebody like him. They prepared the food for him. Yes, prepared the meat for him. Yes, prepared the fire of coals and then tried to feed the disciples. Peter was caught up inside of his own heart and thinking that he was not a disciple of Jesus. But somebody like him, the love of Jesus was delivered into his heart. Peter did not love Jesus. But Jesus loved Peter. How could he say, Yes, Lord? I love you more than these. How could he say such a thing like that? He cannot say those things as he is. He can only say those things when he has forsaken himself. It says, whosoever does not forsake himself cannot follow me. In order for you to become the true shepherd, you must deny yourself. Not the you that you know, but you must accept the Jesus, the me that's inside of Jesus. Peter was not qualified to become an apostle. Because he is forsaking Jesus. He cursed Jesus. Because he first took the promise and he came to the Sea of Galilee. I'm going to go fishing. 
That was why many disciples followed Peter and they came back into the sea. This is Peter. However, Jesus told that Peter was different. And he was able to accept that Jesus Christ. Lord, yea, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. I want who can become an apostle, a shepherd of Jesus Christ. Who can become a shepherd to be able to feed the sheep of, of Christ? Are those who love Jesus Christ? It is not us who love Christ. For those who believe Jesus Christ who loves us. Faith is not about me believing in myself. I forsook Jesus when I went against him. But for me to go to believe that he had loved and accepted somebody like me. Everyone, when Peter was young, he girded himself. But he said that when you are old, then another will gird you and take you to a place where you do not want. Peter received salvation. But he lived according to his own desire. At the time, he could not become a disciple of Jesus Christ. But at the time, when he had forsaken Jesus and into the Sea of Galilee, he thought to himself that he was not a shepherd. He was also somebody that could not be recognized by others as a shepherd. But Jesus, who came to find that Peter, that Jesus to prepare the bread and the fish and to dine for that Peter, because he knew about that love of Jesus, that's how he was able to respond. So the son being more than these. Lord, yay, Lord. Everyone, do you love Jesus? Do not respond by looking at yourself. I have given time. I have volunteered. I have constructed the church. I have done ministry for 30 years. That is not what it means to love Jesus. When you say that you love Jesus, do not look at yourself and then speak about the love of yourself. And we are people that follow after our own benefit, just like Peter. We are people that will run away, flee from the sheep when we receive harm. That was Peter, wasn't it? Why was there a record of Peter like this? That Peter is a terrible man. You better not take that for Peter. Did he record these words so that we would not take after such a man? Or is he telling us he is you? That Peter is you. that Jesus had recorded this Peter. As I read through the Bible, this is what I thought. And just as Peter says, I will go fishing, how can I be a pastor? How can I receive the guidance of God? I'm not somebody who is fitting to be a pastor. There are many times that I have these hearts. However, just as how Jesus came looking for somebody like me, 
he had came looking for Peter. This Peter who cursed Jesus and ran away from him. The Peter who said that he did not know him and he denied him. He went for somebody like him. And then Jesus asked Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord. Everyone, as I've been entrusted with this time to give a lecture on successful ministry, I really like these words. Yea, Lord. Everyone, do you love the Lord? Do you love the Lord more than anyone else? Do not look at yourself and make a response. But you must look to Jesus Christ and respond. We have forsaken Jesus. We have departed from Jesus. But the Jesus who came looking for us. That Jesus who prepared the food for us. When you look at yourself inside of that Jesus, If Jesus had not loved me, why would he have come all the way this far? Me who denied him, saying I didn't know him. Me who had departed from him and cursed him. When Peter saw that Jesus, who loved him, he now was able to say that I love you, Lord. The people of faith, the people who have successful ministries, they do not speak about whatever is inside of them. They speak about whatever is inside of Jesus Christ. This is the path of successful ministry. When Peter was young, he girded himself. He went over to wherever, wherever he wanted. But the true shepherd is when you are girded, when somebody else girds you and guides you into the place where you do not want. In order for us to walk into the great path of ministry, It's not the path of us following our own desires, going for wherever we want. But when the will of Jesus is expressed through me, not only does it bless me, but it also is able to bless all those who hear these words through me. Lovest thou me more than any of these? Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He asked him the second time. And he says unto him, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And once again he responded, Yea, Lord. The third time. He asked unto him, The third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him, The third time lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. He then replied by saying, Feed my sheep. Everyone, the shepherd whom the Lord talks about. The shepherd who is talk, being talked about by Jesus Christ. It was Peter. What kind of person was Peter? He was somebody who denied Jesus. He was somebody who cursed Jesus. Such a Peter, how was he able to walk into the true path of a shepherd? Everyone, there was a time in which he looked at himself. That was a path in which 
He went against them. He cursed them, and he opposed Jesus. Peter was a person that had no choice but to go back into the Sea of Galilee to try to catch fish. And that Peter, he was able to see himself, who was like that. I deny Jesus, but the heart of Jesus, who had looked toward me, was different. When he looked at that Jesus, he says, Love is thou me. He says, Yay, Lord. When he looks at himself, there's no way that he can give that answer. But when he looked at Jesus, he was able to give that response. They are the ones who are qualified and have the conditions to feed the sheep of Jesus. In order for us to live the successful life of ministry, we should not speak falling after our own heart. But we must speak through the Jesus Christ that is inside of me. And we must speak according to Jesus. Then surely Jesus Christ, he will lead us into the blessed and wonderful path. And this was the blessed path of ministry which Peter walked. I truly believe that this is the path of ministry which the Lord wants to direct us into. We'll conclude our second session here. Thank you.